Well, that concludes my series on demystifying Indian music. I do hope you found some, if not all of the episodes, informative and useful. We've looked at quite a few things in the series. Types of instruments used, genres of music, styles of playing, and some in-depth musical analysis. I've also answered some of the frequently asked questions that have been asked of me on my journeys. It goes without saying, that if you'd like to find out more, there are many wonderful resources online and in print. And there, you can delve deeper and follow your own line of interest to find out more about the wonderful world of Indian music. My intention in this series was really to open some doors, as it were. And I've tried my best to put aside jargon and foreign language terminology that I think sometimes gets in the way. I've also addressed some of the concerns that I have, which I feel prevents a lot more people from finding out about Indian music and also prevents them from learning how to play Indian instruments. Some of these issues are very interesting and perhaps a bit too close to the bone for some traditionalists, but I've done my best to highlight them in a serious but engaging way. Thank you very much for watching. Great! Anyone fancy a curry? <laughs> <laughs>